Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to use something really super cool today. So um, one of the things that we've been dealing a lot with with some of these Intune migrations and people going from 10 to 11, so a lot of them are running MS Chap, and almost as many of them are actually using the automatic login with credentials, gross, and TLM nonsense. And so with that, we're running into a lot of clients that are, you know, basically needing to move from yucky old crap to EPTLS or PPTLS, like just modernized certificate-based, you know, great flow and awesomeness. So it took me a while to get it figured out because I had basically to teach myself NPS and kind of get through all that. But so in this multi-part series, what we're going to be doing is showing you and teaching you for, I, bu I bought on Amazon a lovely little Meraki MR36 beautiful little piece of equipment here relatively not too painful to set up so I bought one of those and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna show you exactly how to take that Meraki set up radius get the whole thing going and leverage cloud PKI to do certificate based authentication for Wi-Fi to solve this problem that a lot of people are running into now <clears throat> so there's gonna be multi parts in this series in this first part we're gonna show you how to set up the Meraki flip on radius uh, add the radius client inside of M MPS, the network policy server. And then in additional videos, we'll go into building out their policy using cloud PKI to do all the cloud PKI sexiness to deliver that awesome surface off. So why don't we get started? Because like I said, this is going to be a really cool little fun little adventure we go on. So I'm going to start here over on the Meraki side. And I'm going to kind of give you an idea how I set it up because it really wasn't that bad. I created the, the online account, whoopity do. And then once you kind of log in, what's always interesting is that the Meraki MR36 is PoE, power over Ethernet, didn't come with an AC adapter. And so what I ended up having to do was I, I plugged it into the PoE port on my Comcast router. And then I set up a static route so that my Comcast router could talk to my mesh environment where where my my lab is because that was really the hardest part and then once i had that account so that thing will you'll plug in the meraki it'll come online and then you would go into the portal the cloud portal which is really neat and you basically hit add claim individual you pop in the serial number which ends up being right on our friend the box and it will come online for you which is cool and pops in here and i'll say hey i work Yay, everyone's excited. And the first thing you want to do before you really kind of get too far down the hole is and this thing will flicker a little bit, get used to that, uh, is that I leverage the ping tool that they have, and I want to make sure that it can talk to my NPS server. And this was just very useful, and I hate the fact that you know I'm not calling ping a troubleshooting tool, not really something that I'm a huge fan of. But hey, you know when in Rome, so we got that piece. We know that we can talk to it, and so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pop on over to MPS and set up the client, because so we have our IP address which I'm gonna grab of the unit, which you know you can see here when you go back to it here as well, local IP. We'll pop in here. So I installed the network policy server service. Relatively easy. It's, then I right click on radius clients. I'm going to hit new. Be great if that didn't hide on me. I'm going to pop in our IP that we grabbed. And I'm going to generate one of these, you know, fancy little shared secrets. Don't forget to name it. So I'm just going to call mine MR36. Hit OK. And then if I go back to our friend here, we're going to go to wireless, and then we're going to go to access control. And then you, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select enterprise with my radius server. And I was messing around with this, so you can ignore this, but we're going to go in and we're going to add that server. So we know the IP. We know that the default port is 1812. Hooray. I don't do the test connection stuff, it's just a little kludgy and not a fan, so I just leave it alone. Just making sure I got my secret, I got that, I hit done, and I save. And at this point, we've we've set it up, we've 
set up the actual integration with the radio server, which is pretty cool and straightforward. And, you know, if you really want to, you can get crazier. And if you want to do, you know, whatever, if you want to, you know, do set up the accounting servers and stuff, but that's not really the point of what we're focused on. So obviously in this first video, we've kind of set the stage for everything. And then when we come back, we're going to look into actually setting up the entire profile for EPTLS inside of NPS. Peace.